no country in the world that uh, would tolerate hundreds of rocket attacks uh, fired from outside its territory, bringing hardship, fear, disruption, injury and death to its people. Yes! This rally for peace in Israel is also for me a moment of optimism. Uh, this first major rally is a historic event and a sign, in my view, the tide of public opinion is turning. There are many signs that Irish society is becoming more balanced uh, in yes. relation to issues it's to do with the Middle East. Anti-Semitic yes. attitudes are being challenged and to my mind the most insidious anti-Semitic attitude of all is that of applying a double standard to Israel yes. which doesn't yes. apply to yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Many Irish champions of human rights are surprisingly silent about the brutal outrages perpetrated by the terrorist Hamas regime on its own population, whether women, gay people, political opponents, many vicious attacks on human rights carried out by many of Israel's near neighbours. This, this double standard is now being challenged and I find that very encouraging. Yes. The inherent fascism of the attempt to impose a cultural boycott in Israel is also being named and exposed. As a Labour Party councillor, I particularly welcome the presence of the Labour leader in Tawnish Jane and Gilmore at the yes. Film Days for Israel in November of last year. Yes, yeah. well done. Um, it's, it's hard to talk about solidarity with Israel without also acknowledging the enormously positive contribution that Jewish people have made uh, to society, not just in Israel, but also in Ireland uh, and the wider world. Um, on a personal note, it was an immense privilege for me to have spent five years working for Ireland's first Jewish cabinet minister, the Labour Party's Mervyn Taylor. Um, I'm also profoundly grateful for the insights so many Jewish writers and thinkers have shared with the world. Yeah. Intellectuals of Jewish heritage, such as some of my own personal heroes, Jacob Ronofsky, Viktor Frankl, Irvin Yalom, Carl Sagan, Alain de Botton and so many others are the among the most inspiring figures of our modern civilization. Yeah. As well as, finally, uh, as well as solidarity and optimism, it's important also to emphasize uh, the need to take up Yankee's term for compassion. Each death or injury of an innocent civilian in Gaza uh, is a tragedy which yes. must primarily be laid at the door of Hamas, yes. Yes. Uh, but which also calls for restraint and for the path for peace. Yes. Yes. It's essential to recognize that there is a Palestinian perspective uh, and there is Palestinian suffering. Now, of course, many Arab commentators are, have taken the lead in pointing out much of that suffering is self-inflicted, but it is real nonetheless. Uh, a lasting peace must be founded on dialogue with enemies and an historic effort to accommodate both sets of identities. Yeah. Um, I congratulate Naomi Gibson on organizing this event uh, and all yes. those involved, and I hope that it's a step towards a much more balanced attitude to, to the Middle East in Ireland. Thank you so much. Yeah.